Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how to do Monte Carlo simulation in Excel. Uh, the Monte Carlo simulation starts from generating a uniform random variable. So to do that, you need to just type IND and type the parentheses. So it will give you a number uh, that is between 0 and 1 uniformly. And you can by scaling, by scaling and moving, you can actually generate uh, all kinds of uniform random variable, uh, such as if I want to generate a, a want negative one to one, what I can do is I can just type in this. Uh, I scale it by two and move to the left by one unit. And you can verify that if the random variable is uh, 0, 1, uniform. This new random variable is a negative 1 to 1 uh, random variable. But in this demo, I was just using the random variable. Okay, so uh, now we are going to generate a bunch of them. Ideally, you have uh, a lot of observation to simulate. Uh, so that you will get a uh, reasonably small standard error when you do the, actually the cal calculate the quantity that you need. So the trick I'm using here is notice that you can pull down this lever right here to split the screen to two, move to the bottom, and do this. So you don't need to move around uh, the slider like crazy. How, okay, so let's come to the first application, which is the easiest one. Is that what if I want to generate a, a normal random variable from a uniform random variable? Uh, the trick is that we treat the uniform random variable as its CDF, as its CDF value. So by its inverse, taking the inverse of the uniform random variable, we get a, a normal random variable. So let's say we do the norm The probability is the generated uniform random variable. And let's say we want a mean zero standard deviation one. OK. Now let's do it over a 1,000 observation. So you can see that the mean is reasonably close to zero, and the standard deviation is reasonably close to one. As you get more observation, let's say you get a thousand, uh, ten thousand, or even a million, uh, this value will be much, much closer to the true value. So the, let me actually jump to, a, to, to the third uh, application uh, because this is actually also quite intuitive uh, if you know something about calculus. So uh, we can actually approximate integration using the, this Monte Carlo method. So let's say I want to uh, integrate x square, uh, x square over 0, 1. So what I do I do is I actually calculate, just evaluate uh, x at the value I generate, square, square it. So what I do here is I take the sum of all the variables, and I times the approximate difference in x. In this case, because it's uniform, so assuming that the approximation difference is actually just 1 over the number of observations. So you can see that the two value, the true value and the approximation value are also quite close. So uh, this is actually its second application. The last application here uh, is to simulate some nonlinear event. What do I, mean, do I mean by nonlinear event? Uh, for example, in this case, we have a discrete demand system. For, uh, it means for 10% of probability, let me actually just make it percentage point. For 10% of probability that we will have a demand that is 1,000, and for 30% we'll have a demand that is 4,000. 
Uh, so we want to, using this uniform random variable, uh, to simulate different cases. Let's say if I got a value that is 0 0.26, uh, I should fall into, because I should, should be using this, because cumulative probability will be go from 0 to 1, which is exactly what I generated as uniform random variable. So actually, I want it to be 20, or 2,000, because it is larger than 10%, but smaller than 45%. The way we're going to do it is using a function called VLOOKUP. So the the syntax is a little bit uh, complex, and it is not what I want to talk about here. Uh, so you can actually, you guys, if you're interested, you can just look up its help file. So uh, notice that the value changed. Previously, it's 2,000, now it's 4,000 because uh, the uniform random uh, variable has changed. So let me go ahead and, oh, OK. So here I need to actually to use the absolute reference to freeze everything. OK. OK, so you can see uh, that the cumulative realized probability is actually quite close to what the true value is. And now you can do something with the uh, simulated scenario. Thank you.